We all know that the relationship between humans and animals is pretty special. But maybe we underestimate just how complex it can be. It's not all about feeding them and play and fetch. They can really form a bond with humans and even seem to be able to thank those who have helped them in some way. From the marsupial with a firm handshake, to the dog who knew that firefighters saved his life. Here's 20 times humans rescued animals and got thanked in the cutest way. <sighs> Number 20. Kangaroo Handshake with Humans After Being Saved this Australian marsupial gave a handshake to two guys who saved the kangaroo from an icy river as if to express gratitude. In a video that has gone viral on social media, the rescuers were shown rescuing the kangaroo from the freezing waters of Canberra's Lake Burley Griffin. When the two guys approached, the kangaroo became apprehensive and crouched low, then was startled when the first man reached out to touch him. It does however allow them to hoist it out of the water, the two guys proceeded to the edge of the lake, passing the kangaroo to a third man standing on the sidewalk bordering the water. holding the animal between them. As it is lifted up onto the solid ground, the kangaroo looked pretty scared, turning around to face the water before one of the guys stands in front of it and grabs its paws, presumably to prevent it from jumping back in. Cause that would have been pretty dumb. He takes the creature's paws for a little while, but the roo returns the gesture by offering him a paw. He can be heard saying, Ah, he's thanking ya, in the background of the video. Julian responded to comments by saying that it was below freezing in the water. I'd say this one was tired and cold. Julian remarked in response to someone who asked if kangaroos can swim. They can swim though. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. Bear traps can be pretty nasty. They are bad enough for bears, but when a poor little fox got caught in one, it looked like it was the end. But luckily, two people showed up and freed the fox, taking him home and nursing him back to health. A few years later, the same couple found themselves in a panic when their young daughter wandered out of their yard and into the same forest. They ran in to look for her and found her asleep, but she wasn't alone. She was not up to the very same fox they'd rescued, they even recognized the scar on its leg. The parents shocked to discover how a fox paid them back for his salvation. Thanks to this fox, their daughter was perfectly fine. Do you think animals know how to say thanks? Did the fox know it was this couple's daughter somehow? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let us keep things moving. Number 19. Golden Retriever Thanks Firefighter After Being Rescued a golden retriever had been missing for over 24 hours after falling into a sinkhole, and firefighters were dispatched to save her. After a man walking his own dog saw something unusual, a crew from the Streeter Fire Department in Illinois went out to Marilla Park. The man's dog alerted him to the presence of another dog, who was stranded about five feet beneath the snow-covered earth. According to a press statement, the retriever named Macy had been lost for hours before being saved, firefighters, including Fire Chief Fred McClellan, went to the park to save the dog, but it turned out to be more difficult than expected. Chief McClellan emerged from the hole in a video posted to the Streeter Fire Department's Facebook page after the dog was unable to climb out on the ladder they had maneuvered in. Oh, 
Chief McClellan nearly fell in himself as the earth began to give away at the mouth of the hole as the squad wrapped webbing around Macy and hoisted up the big pup. If you can see me falling, it was because the ground started to break on my one foot underneath, so I stepped across the hole to grab and then it collapsed again. Luckily, my engineer, Tim Red, was able to finish pulling the dog out safely, he said. More information regarding the rescue was supplied by news reports, which described Chief McClellan as saying, this dog fell in a five-foot hole and had been missing for about 24 hours from what I understand. Number 18. Releasing a Stranded Octopus and It Thanked Me Pei Yanyang saw a little octopus stranded on the sand at Singapore's Cyrene Reef and wanted to save it. But what it did after he saved it startled him. Released a stranded octopus that became stuck on the sand when the tide went out in shallow water, Heng said. The octopus went towards my left shoe after recovering and rested one of its tentacles on my shoe for a while before moving away. He feels the octopus was expressing gratitude for his nice deed. Octopuses in the wild have been spotted engaging in a variety of odd behaviors, indicating that they are far more clever than we may believe. The cognitive aptitude of the cephalopod class of mollusks is measured by cephalopod intelligence tests. Cephalopods appear to be extraordinarily clever invertebrates, despite the fact that these characteristics are difficult to quantify in non-human creatures. Because it relies on a neural system that is fundamentally different from that of vertebrates, the study of cephalopod intelligence has an important role in the larger understanding of animal cognition. Cephalopods can solve intricate puzzles that require pushing or pulling operations, as well as unscrew container lids and unlock locks on acrylic boxes to get at the food within. They may also recall problem solutions and learn to solve the same puzzle in various combinations. Number 17. Friendly Fox Becomes a Household Pet Cropper is a wild-born fox, not your usual man's best friend. Cropper was discovered outside a hairdresser's business in Kent, England, six years ago. After getting into a dogfight, he was gravely hurt. His brain was also damaged by an illness called taxoplasmosis. It can be fatal for foxes, since it renders them incapable of living in the wild. Fortunately, Mr. Trowler took him in and nursed him back to health, earning his trust. Cropper now behaves more like a household dog than a wild animal. When they go into town, he can be seen taking lengthy walks with Trowler, content to trot at his heels or walk on an extended leash. Cropper, Trowler believes, may help people understand and respect their wild counterparts in a country where foxes are generally viewed with distrust. Trowler believes their special bond is the result of time and patience. For their opportunistic assaults on poultry and other small livestock, foxes are sometimes seen as pests or nuisance animals. Human attacks by foxes are uncommon. Foxes in cities live longer and have smaller litters than those in rural settings. In comparison to non-urban foxes, urban foxes exhibit different behavior in Europe, such as greater population density, narrow Grower territory and group foraging. Number 16. A hippo that was rescued when she was just a week old. At the Care for Wild Africa Sanctuary in Gwatang, South Africa, a very sociable hippo named Emma permitted herself a few embraces from one of her favorite humans. When Emma was just a week old, she was rescued from a drain pipe. Nowadays, Emma, being a little older and healthier, looks after a younger hippo orphan named Molly. <laughs> 
Emma was discovered stranded and abandoned. As a newborn in the drainage system of a neighboring dam, she was sent to the sanctuary for treatment and now serves as a surrogate for Molly, her other baby hippo friend. It's a cute end to a difficult beginning in life. For this hippo, humans and hippos aren't always such good friends though. Butchery cut marks on hippo bones discovered in the Bori Formation, estimated to be from roughly 160,000 years ago, are the oldest indication of human involvement with hippos. The hippo was seen as a violent Nile dweller by the ancient Egyptians, and depictions of the creature on the tombs of nobles reveal that people hunted them. And if you ever played Assassin's Creed Origins, you'll know what a pain in the butt hippos can be. The hippo is often hostile and has been seen storming and attacking boats on several occasions. Hippos can capsize small boats, causing passengers to be hurt or killed by the animals, or die from drowning. In one example in Niger, in 2014, a hippo overturned a boat, killing 13 passengers. Hippos will frequently raid farm crops if the chance comes, and humans may get caught in the crossfire. Humans and hippos alike can die in these situations. Number 15. Man Who Saved Baby Flying Squirrel while coming home, Jeff Longo believed it would be a typical day until he saw something on the sidewalk. What he discovered shocked him. A little creature lay on the heated sidewalk just in front of Jeff. It didn't appear that any of its relatives were around to help it. In the Florida sun, it wouldn't survive long. Longo understood he needed to take action. The critter was hairless, blind, and possessed razor-sharp claws. No one would have thought this thing thing was charming, but Jeff Longo didn't care. When he came across it on a scorching sidewalk in Tampa, Florida, Longo thought that its relatives had just abandoned it in the sun to burn. He had no idea what this little animal was, but he would not allow any animal to suffer while he was around. Nothing deserves to die under the scorching heat. Jeff never left Biscuit alone, and he even brought her to work with him. Every day, Biscuit would accompany Jeff to work in his pocket. What animal was it, though? It's a flying squirrel. He discovered that she loved fruits, nuts, and seeds. Longo tried hard to establish a suitable home for Biscuit once he understood her true nature. He put a pouch in Biscuit's cage, for example, because flying squirrels like to live in tiny spaces like woodpecker holes and nest boxes. And now they're best friends for life. Number 14. Baby Dolphin Rescued and Jumps to Thank Two friends were out on the water in their boat, preparing to catch some fish and relax, when they observed a little strange figure circling their boat and rising to the surface out of nowhere. When they got close enough, they saw it was a newborn dolphin trapped in some kind of plastic. They promptly caught the dolphin with their net, hauled it on board, and rapidly moved a plastic bag that had trapped the dolphin's face. The newborn dolphin leapt up after being freed and returned to the sea to express its gratitude and say thank you. Dolphins have always been an important part of human civilization. Dolphins are occasionally employed as emblems, such as in heraldry. Dolphins were always viewed as human helpers in Greek mythology. According to artistic evidence from the wrecked palace of Knossos, dolphins were equally valuable to the Minoans. A beautiful fragment of a wall painting portraying a ship with three human beings and a dolphin was discovered during the 2009 excavations of a large Mycenaean city, Attic Lina. Dolphins appear often in Greek mythology, and several ancient Greek coins have been discovered with a man, a child, or a god riding on the back of one. Number 13. Owl Hugs Man Who Saved Her when Gigi, a great horned owl, was brought to Wild at Heart Rescue in Mississippi, she was on the verge of death. After being hit by a car, the unfortunate creature suffered a significant brain trauma. Missy Dubuisson, the rescuer's founder, said, This bird was one of the most critical we have ever taken care of. The fact that this bird has lived is beyond comprehension. Gigi, on the other hand, improved after lengthy treatment. If it hadn't been for Douglas, Doug Pojiki, the birds of prey whisperer, it wouldn't have been possible. In all my years of working with birds of prey, I 
have never seen someone with such a bond with these magnificent birds, Du Boisson said. Gigi had total faith in Pojeki. When Pojeki went to see his relatives in Michigan for a while, Gigi couldn't contain her joy when he returned. She not only began dancing, but she also hugged him and placed her head on his shoulder. It literally brings tears of joy to my eyes to watch him interact with these birds, Du Boisson remarked. They know and trust him completely. It's the look of trust on their face. Number 12. Brazilian Soldiers Save Jaguar this photo of a jaguar drowning after its jungle habitat was destroyed sparked outrage on the internet. Yet, everything is not as it seems. The shot, which has gone viral as a record number of wildfires rage throughout Brazil, was captured in 2016 by Brazilian photographer Nun Manguera. As part of a mission to conserve Amazon jaguars, it depicts a Brazilian army soldier swimming in the middle of the Rio Negro in Manaus, Amazonas state its capital, Chiquitaya. The jaguar was adopted by the army after his mother was slain by hunters, according to Menguera. Chiquitaya was reared by soldiers who took him swimming every day. He was two years old at the time of the photograph. Menguera stated, It has nothing to do with the fires. The military command of the Amazon, a division of the Brazilian army, established the Project Jaguars in the Amazon. Its goal is to support the conservation of species in the region. The Amazon is considered critical to the survival of jaguars because it provides the greatest contiguous tract of habitat for them. Number 11. Shark Thanks Diver for Removing Nasty Hook Sharks are incredible creatures. If you come across one, don't be alarmed. They don't eat humans on purpose. They're more curious. As a result, they will approach you quite closely. Sharks may be quite friendly, and this is especially true if you help one by removing a dangerous hook lodged in its body, such as what happened in this clip. Only a few sharks are dangerous to humans, contrary to common assumption. Only four shark species, the Great White, Oceanic White Tip, Tiger and Bull have been implicated in a large number of deadly unprovoked attacks on people. These sharks are huge, dangerous predators that may attack and kill humans on occasion. Despite their involvement in human assaults, they have all been photographed without the need of a protective cage. Sharks don't seem to have a preference towards attacking people in general. According to research, it's probable that when people are attacked by sharks, the shark mistook them for creatures that are normally food for sharks, such as seals. In Hawaiian mythology, sharks often play an important role. Mysterious men with shark jaws on their backs are said to be able to switch between shark and human form. For example, a shark man would warn beachgoers of sharks in the ocean, which is a recurrent theme. The beachgoers would laugh and reject the warnings, and the shark man who warned them would eat them. That's a little harsh. Number 10. Cat rescued hours before death row, can't stop thanking his rescuer. This lovely cat named Henry was spared with only hours left on death row. He thanked his savior in such a kind way. One of our dedicated foster carers, Adele, rescued this gorgeous boy today from the pound. Cat Rescue Newcastle stated, He had a matter of hours before his time was up, but we swooped in and did what we do best. Saved a life. Henry couldn't stop caressing and kissing his savior because he was so so thankful. Henry is overjoyed since Adele was able to find him a lifelong home. Cat Rescue Newcastle stated, These are the days we live for, but not all cat-human relations have been so harmonious. Cat pelts have long been used for superstitious purposes as part of witchcraft, and they are still used to make blankets in Switzerland as a traditional remedy for rheumatism. On the other hand, cats were revered in ancient Egypt, and the goddess Bastet was frequently represented in cat form, occasionally taking on the warlike appearance of a lioness. Killing a cat was illegal, according to Herodotus, and when a household cat died, the entire family mourned and shaved their eyebrows. For some reason, families brought their deceased cats to Bubastis, where they were embalmed and interred in hollowed crest 
scripts. Because he had only ever seen wild cats, Herodotus was taken aback by the tame cats in Egypt. Number 9. Coco the Gorilla Coco the Gorilla is one of the most famous gorillas who ever lived. She died in 2018, having been born back in 1971, and during her life, she became an international celebrity. She appeared on the cover of National Geographic, was the subject of a novel by the Jurassic Park creator Michael Christian, and had documentaries broadcast by CBS and the BBC, among many others, who all witnessed a piece of Coco. Her instructor and caregiver was Francine Patterson, and she was able to teach Coco more than 1,000 hand signals from American Sign Language, and this allowed Coco to convey complex thoughts and emotions with her hands. She once adopted a baby kitten and named it herself. She could also understand 2,000 spoken words in English, even more abstract ones like good or fake. Her IQ was measured at somewhere between 75 and 90, meaning she had the intelligence of an average three-year-old human child or an adult TikTok star. When her kitten, who she named All Ball, escaped from the enclosure and was killed by a car, Coco told Patterson her feelings were, quote, frown cry, frown sad, trouble. A pretty amazing gorilla. Number 8. Seal Can't Stop Hugging This Diver a seal can be seen hugging a scuba diver in a sweet video that is leaked on the internet. The video shows a seal cuddling a diver underwater and was shared on Twitter by Indian Forest Service employee Susant Ananda, warming the hearts of netizens. It's love wrapped up in a hug. From ocean diversity, the Forest Service worker said in the caption, accurately capturing the animal's friendly embrace. The video has now gone viral on social media media with users spreading it all over the web. The 20-second film demonstrates how animals can provide warmth and affection to people. The seal may be seen clutching the diver's hand in the footage. Later in the video, the seal proceeded to snuggle with the diver, who began to touch and soothe the seal while moving his hands on its back. Netizens flooded the comment area after witnessing the friendly seal. Dolphin and human are always supporters of each other. No fishermen catch them and no dolphin harms humans, one Twitter user commented. If if you're in trouble at sea and dolphins are nearby, they'll make sure to take you to shore and save you. That's unconditional love towards each other by both. The video has received over 13k views since it was uploaded. Number 7. Phoenix the Horse Cannot Stop Giving Hugs and Kisses to Owner Different animals express affection in different ways. While most of us are accustomed to seeing dogs and cats being nice and cuddly with their owners, not everyone is aware of how horses make their owners feel or how much they adore them. An exceptionally adorable horse recently showed how a large animal can also be quite sweet and charming. In a popular video from 2017, Frisian was a three-year-old Frisian who wanted to show her owners how much she enjoyed nuzzling and cuddling them. According to the YouTube description, Phoenix accomplished something very remarkable. She appeared to be attempting to push her owner away at first, but the reality was revealed when she eventually and successfully dragged the woman closer, gripping her closely with her muscular neck. Horses are one of the most loving creatures on the planet, which is not often recognized. They express their feelings differently than dogs and cats, but it doesn't mean they can't be as lovely and tender with the people that they care about. Number 6 reaction of a donkey right after see the girl who raised him. If there was ever any doubt that donkeys can experience strong emotions, the video here proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. A little girl is reunited with the donkey she nurtured in a brief clip, and it's a tearjerker. The donkey brays enthusiastically as it trots over to welcome the girl as she approaches the gate.
The donkey can't get enough of her as she spreads her arms out. The donkey burrows his head into her. Visibly moved, the film debunks the popular belief that donkeys aren't particularly smart. The reverse is actually true. They're noted for being compassionate creatures who build strong ties with one another. They are extremely loving and have excellent memory. As proven by the video, they're also known for being fiercely devoted to those they trust in. Number 5. This wild cockatoo does this to his favorite person every day. Every day on her balcony in Manly, Sydney, Australia, Mr. Floofington, the wild cockatoo, pays a visit to his favorite human, Susie. He even brings Miss Floofington his lover. Some cockatoo species have benefited from human activity. While others have suffered, many open country species have profited considerably from anthropogenic landscape changes, such as increased seed food supplies and water availability, and have also also adapted successfully to a diet that includes foreign foods. This advantage appears to be limited to Australian species, since cockatoos that prefer open land outside of Australia have not increased in number. Habitat degradation has harmed mostly forest-dwelling species. In general, they tend to have a more specialized diet and have been unable to assimilate foreign foods into their diet. The yellow-tailed black cockatoo of eastern Australia is an anomaly. Number 4. Steve Irwin Has Emotional Encounter With Mother Orangutan Many of us remember the crocodile hunter. He was the most popular animal whisperer on television, and we all adored him in the Sumatran rainforest in 1997. While recording a show dubbed Faces in the Forest, the crocodile hunter comes face to face with an orangutan. Here's a rare video of Steve Irwin in Indonesia with one of these apes. Orangutans are native to Indonesia and grow more endangered by the day. There are only 7,500 500 orangutans left in Sumatra, according to WWF. Unfortunately, despite how similar we humans are to our forest buddies, Our own population pays little to no attention to these natural treasures. In Borneo, 100,000 orangutans have been slaughtered in the last 16 years. Just in this little film, Steve Irwin demonstrates how kind and devoted these animals are. When he comes face to face with a mother orangutan, he becomes wary, worried that she will defend her offspring. He's pleasantly surprised, though, when she embraces him with open arms. Irwin died in 2006 following an accidental stingray attack while recording a documentary in Australia's Great Barrier Reef. His death made international headlines and fans, the media, governments, and nonprofit groups all expressed shock and mourning. Many parks, zoos, and streets have been named after him, as well as the warship My Steve Irwin, the snail species Crikey Steve Irwiny. Australia Zoo is still run by the Irwin family. Number 3. Watch How Duck Reacts to Kisses from Man Who Rescued Him Poncho the Duck has already become an internet celebrity as a result of his friendship with his owner. He was adopted from a shelter and given a fresh lease on life on the farm, and the duck is eternally thankful to his owner. He repeatedly demonstrates this to him, and he demands daily pampering and kisses from him. The animal always returns his affection to the owner in a unique way, especially with kisses. He can't fail to have a heartwarming feeling as you watch these sweet images with a duck and his adoring owner, do you have any pets at home that are very attached to you? On the other hand, duck hunting has been practiced by humans since prehistoric times. Duck bones have been discovered in California middens, ranging from 7,800 to 6,400 BC, including at least one now extinct flightless species. Holocene residents of the Lower Ohio River Basin caught ducks in significant numbers, implying that they took advantage of the seasonal abundance afforded by migratory waterfowl. The flightless finch's duck was hunted to extinction by Maori people in New Zealand, according to archaeological evidence, while rat predation may have also contributed to its extinction. Number 2. 
beluga whale filmed playing fetch with Rugby World Cup ball. So I heard Wales was a rugby powerhouse, but I assumed they were referring to the nation, not the species. I was completely mistaken, and beluga whales are the rugby superstars of the 21st century. When a whale approached a boat full of South African rugby fans going through the Arctic Circle, where these whales reside, one whale at least demonstrated his rugby scoring abilities. One of the rugby fans had a ball, so they decided to see if the whale would want to play fetch with it. It did, and it seemed to have a great time. Racing after the ball and bringing it back. Beluga whales are among the smallest whales, weighing roughly 3,000 pounds, but it's still a significant amount. They have enormous heads that store air and fat, and this section of them is called a melon, which sounds increasingly like a rugby player. Belugas are also known as the white whale and the sea canary, owing to their bright color and high pitched cry. They are gregarious and amiable creatures that dwell in huge groups. Number 1. Adorable Snake is so affectionate with her mom. Some snakes, particularly docile species like the ball python and corn snake, are kept as pets in the Western world. A captive breeding business has sprung up to suit the demand. Captive bred snakes are believed to be superior to wild-caught animals and make excellent pets. Snakes in comparison to more typical companion animals may be fairly low-maintenance pets. They require very little space, as most popular species are under 5 feet in length. And and can be fed just once every 5 to 14 days. If properly cared for, certain snakes may live for more than 40 years. The snake plays an important part in Egyptian history. With the Nile Cobra decorating the pharaoh's crown in ancient times, it was venerated as a god and was also utilized for nefarious reasons like an assassination. It was venerated as a god. King Nahash of Amon, whose name means snake in Hebrew, is portrayed in the Bible as a particularly cruel and terrible opponent of the ancient Hebrews. India is known as the Land of Snakes and has a long history with snakes, there is another snake myth in India. Snakes are commonly referred to as Ikik Hadhari in Hindi. These snakes can take on the shape of any living species, but they prefer to be seen as humans. These legendary snakes have a priceless stone known as Mani, which is more bright than diamond. Many legends exist in India about selfish individuals attempting to obtain this gem and being slain as a result. Have you ever been thanked by an animal in the cutest way? Do you think animals are smarter than we give them credit for? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.